Nikki's independence started rather early um, in as much as she likes to wear what she wants to wear. She also asserts her independence in terms of her friendships. She decides who she wants to hang with, when she wants to hang with them, when they're going to be invited over, who she would like to have on a play date, who she wouldn't like to have on a play date. The color for Nevada State is silver and blue. Jasmine's very, very close to me. After all of this today, she's going to go by herself, well, with my brother, but I'm not going to go. So that's kind of an independent move for Jasmine to go and spend the night and not be afraid that she's not going to see mom tomorrow. During the early years, children are under the almost constant supervision of caregivers. But once they enter the school years, that changes. More and more, they are on their own in the company of peers. Learning to find their own way in the world leads to a process of self-discovery. Who am I? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? How do I measure up to others? And what do I need to learn to get along with them? Recess. It's one of the main incubators of psychosocial development during the school years. Here, relationships are formed, dissolved, reformed, and nurtured with less adult supervision than during earlier years. Children have more freedom and more responsibility than before. And as they interact with each other away from the watchful eyes of caregivers, they form a society of children with its own games vocabulary, rules, and codes separate from the world of adults. A child is going to spend six hours, maybe more, at school. Much of that time will be with the teacher, but much, a lot of it will also be not with the teacher, out on the playground, at recess, walking home after school. So the social skills become very important.